gesture drawings today and we're going to be using athletes that are in the 2014 Sochi Olympics. So right now I'm drawing an image of Uliana Lopatkina and she's a ballerina and I'm using a Crayola classic marker and I may also use some water with a watercolor brush to add a little bit more depth and um, contrast in my drawings. So a gesture drawing usually captures movement or action and it's very short, usually takes only 30 seconds or two minutes. I'm using pictures I found in the Wall Street Journal but you can look online. And remember, just try not to make it look stiff. Gesture drawings are supposed to show movement or some kind of action. I'm also going to be using water and a watercolor brush to add a little bit of depth to a lot of these drawings and my Crayola marker. This is Yuna Kim, um, a figure skater from South Korea. Remember, a gesture drawing is just capturing the motion. Everything doesn't need to be perfect. It's kind of a warm up for um, a bigger drawing. Maybe if you're gonna do a drawing of someone that's gonna be sitting for a while. Really quick, her body definitely comes back this direction more. Her other arm is tucked behind, so this is actually her front arm that is hooked to this torso, so you can bring that line in front. Generally, you're not going to be really fixing these up. If you want to, you can just grab a paintbrush and some water. You could add some action. I don't know which direction she's going in. Maybe she's spinning. I don't know. If she was spinning, we could just, you know. So also, you can do um, gesture drawings with just a few lines. So if you only have 30 seconds, someone's walking by, you know, maybe all, all the time you have is just to capture, you know, that. And later I know that this is the bottom leg with a skate. You know, this is gonna be her thigh, her calf, her knee, her calf, her arm, her head is gonna be a little bit bigger. That's going to be an actual foot. So it kind of depends on how much time you have. You can also use swirls or circles. This is a drawing of Lolo Jones. She's a hurdler and also a bobsled competitor. So I'm going to show you three different ways to do gesture drawings of her. She's standing up. Um, getting her hands ready to either throw something. I'm pretty sure getting ready to throw something. I'm not positive on that. So this is the way that takes about maybe a minute, maybe a minute and 30 seconds. And then I'll show you a way to do it quicker and then a way to do it if you have a little bit more time. Let's maybe do one that's a little bit quicker, not as many shapes, but more just lines trying to figure out where, what she's doing and the gesture of her body. So in this one, I'm spending a little bit more time looking at the shapes. Okay, I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds to draw. So here you have the, tra <laughs> the transition. These are all gestural drawings. Some of them I've just spent a little bit more time doing. So remember, it's just a quick drawing capturing movement or action. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can find some good images to draw. Have fun with this and enjoy the Olympics and have a great day. Mm -hmm.